Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session we have is Tuesday, the 18th of September 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so um, let's see exactly what's going on here, folks, in terms of market direction. Now, overnight, Mr. Trump uh, did his uh, idiotic thing of um, obviously slapping on 10% tariffs and threatening 25%, up to 25% if the Chinese were to retaliate. Uh, so far, the Chinese haven't retaliated, and that's why the market certainly is uh, obviously pushing higher. Uh, certainly expecting the Chinese to retaliate. They've, sit, they've sat back for, for quite some time now with their stock market crashing as well. And I can see a quite a, um, a prolific sell-off certainly ensuing as well. That's what I'm expecting at present. Given the fact that the Chinese have remained quiet, their stock market has fallen from grace. Uh, quite considerably and I can't see the Chinese sitting back and allowing that to occur so as you can see here in the weekly chart it's been quite a considerable sell-off from that 490 zone all the way down to 370 on this index what I've got got here which is a DJSH SH Dow Jones Shanghai index so it has been quite a prolific sell-off at that now the Asian markets did actually rally overnight which is quite kind of strange uh, again is interpreting it as being positive S&P certainly has rebounded as well but I'm certainly expecting a potential or quite a significant sell-off now if you look at the Nasdaq as well especially the Chinese were to retaliate you, you're perfectly settled for a H&S formation top okay that's the way basically the way in which I'm reading it at present uh, if I just add in the volume here as well give you an insight into volume or analysis as well uh, again, uh, from my understanding and my interpretation, this is certainly, as you can see here, volume increasing now on the sell side. I mean, it takes one big spike on the, on the sell side for the volume really to dictate, okay? Uh, and then seeing quite a prolific sell-off. Now, uh, from my perspective, uh, tech certainly is, is, is certainly overbought to a large extent. Uh, we were adhering or obeying to this diagonal uh, trend line. Obviously, the market's oscillated up and down between that. The main important thing here really is that we've held right shoulder. Okay, the right shoulder certainly has held for a lower high, and now we're looking for a lower low, and that's my interpretation, that's my expectation as well. Okay, again, stock market is is going to be right. Uh, I am I'm a trader, I'm fallible, uh, so uh, I, I can always be prone to mistakes, and uh, stop losses are in place if I'm wrong as well. So, again, uh, if, as traders, it's basically just an educated opinion. That's all it basically is. Uh, and that opinion can certainly be wrong as well. So bear that in mind, hence the reason why we have stop losses in place. Either way, that's my uh, understanding and that's my uh, argument, especially with trade wars uh, ongoing with it being negative globally as well, creating inflation, obviously triggers high interest rates, merging, merging market chaos and so on and so forth. So the, the backdrop isn't exactly bu bullish at present, okay? Regardless of Mr. Trump's uh, 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 potential tax cuts, and I think a lot of that already has been baked into the market already. Okay, now in terms of uh, the rest of the European markets this morning, uh, Italian data certainly came in weaker than expected. Uh, the German DAX certainly is is running, which again, uh, very strange. Okay, well we are coming into gap fill now, so uh, gap fill isn't too far at 12 to 10. Certainly uh, very close to that potential area, potential zone. Uh, your Fibonacci retracement as well, pivot low, pivot high to pivot low. You know, into that Fib 38% and then approaching that Fib 50% as well. So a very interesting move so thus far ever since we've held gap fill it's German, German DAX certainly has rallied okay so uh, again a 60 minute chart you can see here potential breakout for the German DAX looking to close that gap now around the 12 to 10 zone again that's another area that I'll be certainly potentially looking to short as well so keeping an eye out for that zone on the uh, German DAX here okay now we've certainly pushed higher very impressive again like I said it's all about that gap and I certainly wasn't expecting a potential rally, I'll be honest. Okay, certainly looking for a bearish bias, and we'll continue to look for that bearish bias. In terms of the French CAC, let's have a look here. Okay, again, a breakout, very impressive here, even though we've got bearish news. We're coming into previous support equals resistance on the French CAC, so watch out there. Uh, a 10 minute chart, you still have that unfilled gap below, uh, which is around the uh, uh, 3328, and then you've got another gap below at 3283, so watch out for those gaps to close. In terms of the FTSE 100, let's just bring that index up for you as well. Again, oscillating between that zone, 7290, 7300 to 7310. Certainly looking for risk off here as well, especially given the Brexit scenario. So my understanding really is risk off. Markets certainly looking to move lower. And on that note, please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and visit cfds.com. Goodbye now.